what up world what up seven cups family today i wanted to do a fun video which you saw by the title so if you have tattoos at all then you already know the question that you get asked what does your tattoo mean so today i wanted to get into all of that and explain what all my tattoos mean i guess we could start with the big one it looks like an angel to the naked eye, but it actually is the symbol of Virgo, which I am according to my birthday. So straight up, I'm not into astrology anymore, but I was at one time. I did my chart and everything. I mean, I never lived by it, but I, I definitely listened to it. The symbol, basically, you can Google the symbol of Virgo, but it basically means the virgin. And so you'll see an image of a lady with wings. It's not very clear that she's an angel or a goddess, something like that, um, but a lady with big wings and she usually has a plant with her. It's usually wheat. So that's this flower thing that you see here. And it is incredibly well done. I love this tattoo. I don't follow astrology because my identity is in Christ, not in my sun sign, moon sign, anything like that. I don't let that define me as who I am, but I still, I still love the tattoo. I don't regret it. And it could still just be an angel because I do believe in angels. And then under that, is this Japanese kanji. Oh wait, hold up. We need to do a nail check. It's Easter today. You won't see this video until the Friday after, but yeah, basically that's my inspiration for the nails today. I love them. Yes, so here is the Japanese kanji symbol and it actually means savage. Now, if I understand correctly, kanji letters don't usually just go alone. They usually have a, another symbol, at least one other symbol next to it to inform the exact meaning of the word. But yeah, this is just straight up savage. The reason why I wanted to get this tattoo was, honestly, I kind of was a savage at the time. <laughs> And I got this actually matching with my brother, so he also has it and also is a savage. The reason that I wanted to get it was really just to remember aboriginal people and indigenous people and how their lifestyles are seen as barbaric to us, but yet in their own societies and culture, they are respected and they get on, they get along in their society, but if they were brought into our society they would be so low in status we see them as barbaric but really they just live by the basics and they aren't bothered by all the stuff it's literally stuff that we have it's really just keeping in mind like the basics of life so that's why i got that moving on so this moon is actually something that i drew but it was definitely influenced by an image on a card that comes from a card game not a tarot card i want to make that extremely clear because i've never been into that never will be it's actually from a card game that i believe is a mexican game and it's called la loteria and i've never actually played the game but i came across the card just like on pinterest or something like that the card number is number 23 and it's called la luna the moon and i liked the image on it i thought it was a really cute moon with the face in it that has kind of like a feminine face and the number 23 is my favorite number it's very special to me so yeah i liked that and i got this done in new orleans so definitely a theme with my tattoos is i like to get tattoos in the different places that i go but especially places that i really like like not just anywhere that i travel but cities and places that i really like and so i just thought that was a fitting one for new orleans and then next to it is <laughs> a tattoo that i also drew and it is two stars and big ben 
which is definitely based on Peter Pan. I got this done when I was in London, which is a city that I love. It's probably my favorite city in the world, if we're being honest. And so yeah, I got that in London because Peter Pan is based in London. I also studied architecture in London, so I was drawing a bunch of buildings and just architecture around the city. So I just thought that the stars went nicely with the moon. So yeah, that's my little nightscape. So this is probably the biggest piece that I have. It is the Ohm symbol. Now. A lot of people know the ohm symbol or have seen it, um, but for those who don't know, I was introduced to the ohm symbol actually through yoga. And the way it was taught to me in yoga classes was that it symbolizes my breath in the same breath as the universe. And I thought that that was really beautiful. Me and my place in the grand scheme of it all, right, and the unity that connects all life. And I still think that that's really beautiful, but now I would say that that concept is trying to find the definition of having the Holy Spirit come inside of me when I was born again. So that is what I believe in now. My back piece is the one piece that I would like to not have so prominently. Being that it's the only piece that I have on my back and it's huge, um, I've been in situations where people will see it just kind of passing by. You know, if I wear something like this or a tank top in the summer and they see it, they just might get the wrong idea about me and might think that because it's a Sanskrit symbol um, and connected to the Hindu religion, they might think that I maybe practice or believe in some of those things, which I don't. So yeah, that's the one piece that I would like to not cover up. I would never cover it up. I think I still think it's beautiful. It's actually something that I drew myself as well. Being that it's the only piece on my back and it's so big, it's really a statement and I just don't want anyone to get confused in what I believe in or what faith I am a part of. And so I would like to just add to it more around it, um, like maybe connect this to all this back here just so it doesn't stand out so much as like, boom, here it is, you know? I would like to add stuff around it. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know in the comments and I might just do it for real. Oh, and the funny story about that tattoo is I started drawing it in anticipation of getting the tattoo in the Philippines. So we were in the Philippines for about three weeks and so throughout that three weeks I was even adding to the drawing, refining it. I was adding symbolism of patterns and textures and objects and even sceneries that you find in the Philippines like woven baskets which we call banig you'll see that pattern in the tattoo and I think like mountains and flowers um, that just were representative of my trip there so it was actually a really beautiful memento to have from the trip and we got the tattoos done I want to say it was the very last night that we were there after the three weeks and it was so funny because we had the tattoo artist come to the house and so he worked on all of us just right there on the front porch. I was drawing it the entire time with the intent to hand the drawing over to the artist and be like, can you do something like this on my back? But then I realized that I had drawn this beautiful thing, so I might as well just use that exact drawing. So I just gave it to him. It fit perfectly on my back and yeah, I love it now. But yeah, I definitely do want to add to it. The next one, okay. The next one is kind of related. If you look on a map, you will see the Philippine Islands look something like this. And this is the sun from the Philippines flag. Uh, and yeah, I basically got this because I am 100% Filipina. And I just love Filipino people. I love Filipino food. I love the Philippine Islands. My people, so self-explanatory. Okay, the next one is right here. And it says, Hail Mary. I love this tattoo. It has sort of a lot of definitions behind it. Okay, so this one, I got it in 
Callie when me and two of my best friends were there together. I mean, my best friend, she still lives out there, but we went to visit her and we all got tattoos at Venice Beach and it was just like the most Cali thing ever. And so yeah, obviously Hail Mary comes from a Tupac song, <laughs> which I love Tupac. It is also a Catholic prayer. And going back to my Filipino heritage, I think that a lot of Filipinos are Catholic and go to Catholic church and that is a big part of Filipino culture. I was never raised going to Catholic church like regularly, being a part of a Catholic church, but I have been to many masses. I actually can't say that I know the prayer, but the prayer symbolizes repentance, forgiveness, and like a clean slate that's really only possible by being born again. And so that's what the tattoo represents to me. I think that's it for my upper body. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> so I have this tattoo right here. This is my Wu-Tang sword. <laughs> Quite simply. I got that tattoo in New York, in Brooklyn. I got this because I liked Wu-Tang. I still do, honestly. So I grew up watching martial arts movies because I'm Asian, but I did get put on to a lot of movies from listening to Wu-Tang and watching their interviews and they were inspired by movies like Wu-Tang vs Shaolin that's a great movie um, and that's like the Wu-Tang sword versus the Shaolin fist I have also seen the 36 chambers I think that's what it's called 36 chambers the 36th chamber of Shaolin I believe maybe that's it I also have the vinyl <laughs> but yeah, that's probably my second favorite movie ever is The 36th Chamber. My second favorite martial arts movie. My first favorite movie is Ong Bak, obviously, Tony Jaa. My third favorite is probably Ip Man, the first one. Also, I just want to say that martial arts movies are the best genre of movie because there is something for everyone in them. There's action, there's romance, there's comedy, there is heroism, there's spirituality. I mean, there's anything that you could ever want in a movie, you can find it in one place in martial arts movies. And also, martial arts movies and anime are so ingrained and connected to hip-hop and poetry because the language and the writing in them is so poetic and Asian languages are beautiful and so that's why they're so accepted into hip-hop. Oh, and there's the first tattoo that I ever got was this peace sign. <laughs> and yeah, that was the first tattoo I ever got. I got it for free. My classmate did it, but I wanted to get the peace sign on the side of my finger when I was 17 specifically so that I could do this. <laughs> I have two symmetrical tattoos on my knees. Well, right above my knee. And I, to be honest, was inspired to get symmetrical tattoos above my knees from Wiz Khalifa because he had tattoos above his knee. On my left knee, I have Roman numeral 420. So you guys have seen my why I don't smoke weed anymore video. I designed this in Bones font because I thought I would always be a weed smoker, but I'm not anymore. But I honestly still think that the tattoo just looks cool. And it also translates well because if anyone asks why I have a 420 tattoo, I could say that it's 1 Corinthians 420, which says that the kingdom of God is not one of talk, but of power. And on my other knee, I have this. It is basically a yin yang of snakes. And it's my skin color and then the snake. My favorite animals are snakes. So basically just me and the snake are one. And I also love circles. You'll see a lot of circles in my tattoos, like the snake, the moon. Speaking of which, I have another tattoo here. Um, and it is this sun, which is another circle. I just love the style of this. Um, tattoo because it doesn't have any shading. It also has a face in it so it kind of matches this one but I got the sun first. That was actually my first legit tattoo and I actually saw it when I went with a friend to get her tattoo. I was sitting you know like in the waiting room 
and how they just have designs that you can flip through right there. Yeah, I actually just found this sun and I really loved it. So it was like one of those pre-drawn ones. <laughs> Someone out there very well may have the same tattoo as me. And if you're watching this, please comment. That would be so dope because we have the same style. And then I think this is the last one. And it is the most recent one that I got too. It is this one on my ankle. That says all the time. And it is actually written in my mom's handwriting. What happened was we got matching tattoos. Uh, mine says all the time and hers says God is good. Mine is actually written in her handwriting and hers is written in my handwriting. So what we did was we also got these in the Philippines. Not the same trip as my back, but um, a more recent trip. So it's just kind of become a tradition to get tattoos when we're there. <laughs> because it's cheaper um, and also to support the local art community over there and it's just a fun souvenir. So what we did was she took a pen and literally wrote this straight on my leg and I wrote straight on her leg and then the tattoo artist just went in with the ink and traced over it just like that. So yeah, that's a matching tattoo that I have with my mom because God is good all the time and all the time God is good. And yeah, guys, I think that's it. Now you guys know the deep meanings behind all my tattoos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel for more womanhood and faith videos. And please know that you are worth a lifetime.